Hello everyone, welcome back to Spectrum Classes. In this video, we are going to solve few numerical problems which are related to the determination of gross calorific value and low calorific value by using Bohm calorimeter, right? So let's start with the examples. So first example is given over here. Since in the Bohm calorimeter, we are using liquid fuel as well as solid fuel. Volatile liquid fuels are not determined in the Bohm calorimeter. A 0.80 grams sample of solid fuel was completely combusted in the axis of oxygen using bomb calorimeter. The resin temperature of the water in the calorimeter is this much, right? So resin temperature means T2 minus T1. So individually T1 and T2 is not given. T2 minus T1 is given over there. Calculate the XCV of the fuel. If water taken in calorimeter is 2000 grams, this is the water capital W, right? So capital W is 2000 grams. Water equivalent of calorimeter, which is small w, this is 2200 grams. So this much is given. Now we have to calculate the gross calorific value by using the bomb calorimeter. So I have given the formula and uh, their individual meanings. So this is for gross calorific value by using the bomb calorimeter W mass of the water in the calorimeter and uh, this is a small W water equivalent of calorimeter T2 minus T1 that is raising temperature and the um, sample of fuel is taken. This is given and this will be multiplied by S. What is S? S is specific heat of water. Since water is taken, so we are taking specific heat of water. If some other solvent is taken, then we are using specific heat of that particular solvent, right? So if we are not going to multiply it by capital S, then this is in grams. This is in degree centigrade. This is again in grams. So gram is cancelled out by these grams. So how we are getting this calorie per gram? Here only degree centigrade is there. So this S is in calories per gram per degree centigrade. So centigrade will be cancelled out by the centigrade and we are immediately get calories per gram. Right? And uh, I've also explained in my previous video about the LCV, how to calculate the LCV. So LCV is equal to HCV of fuel minus 9 into weight of hydrogen if percentage of hydrogen is given then you divide it by 100 right into latent heat of steam so you be specific what is given in your question paper or in your textbook so in some of the text it is given 580 in some it is given 587 so whichever is given you please take that only right now we are going to solve the problem so here is the problem i hope you understand so this is the small x this is T2 minus T1 and this is water taken is this capital W and water equivalent is small w. And we are putting all these values here and I am just going to put the values in the formula. So here you can see capital W is 2000, small w is 2200. This is in grams, both are in grams. Raise in temperature 2.5 degree centigrade and it is multiplied with the specific heat. So specific heat is 1 calories per gram per degree centigrade. So de degree centigrade will be cancelled out by this degree centigrade. This gram will be cancelled out by this grams and we get ultimately calories per gram answer. Right. So here on solving this, we are getting this much of calories per gram for this HCV. In some of the text, he can ask gcv gross calorific value or high calorific value both are same fine now coming to the lcv once we know the gcv or we calculate the gcv then we can easily calculate the lcv from this gcv so lcv is less amount than the gcv or hcv so hcv of fuel minus 9 i have explained this formula in my previous video 9 since hydrogen on combination with oxygen it gives h2 right and 2 grams of hydrogen gives 18 grams of water so 1 gram of hydrogen will give 9 grams of water right so here how much 
hydrogen is there so this is 2.2 upon 100 this is in percentage so 2.2 upon 100 so this will be equal to 9 into by unitary method 2.2 upon 100 so this is from there and the heat which is provided by one molecule of water is 587 or 580 you can say and we are going to multiply with this so this is how the formula works and we are putting all the values here and we on solving it we get this much so lcb is this much and this, you please verify your answer lcb is always less than your hcb so the, if it is not that then somewhere you made mistake fine so this is the answer now we are coming to the next question so i'm just going to put this question and uh, you find out what is this a 0.72 grams of fuel it means this is your x it contains 80 percent of carbon but since in the formula no carbon is required so this is just not required when burnt in the bomb calorie meter means we are using the formula which is applicable for bomb calorie meter increases the temperature of the water from this to this it means t1 is this and t2 is this right if calorie meter contains this much grams of water so capital w is this and if water equivalent is this much a small w is this calculate the hcv of the fuel so the formula you simply apply is this and put all the values here in this formula i have written there only so 29.1 minus 27.3 and on subtraction we get some value and on multiplying all these and uh, on dividing all the units we get simple calories per gram the answer right so here is the answer you can calculate by yourself also just to verify this fine the next question is this the following data is obtained in the bomb calorie meter so this is given weight of the crucible so a crucible is there and its weight is given this much weight of the crucible plus fuel fuel is there and the weight is this much so how we are getting the weight of the fuel so weight of the fuel will be equal to weight of fuel plus crucible minus weight of crucible so we get x out of these two so this minus this we get weight of fuel x water equivalent of calorie meter small w is this much water taken in the calorie meter is capital w is this much raise in temperature t2 minus t1 is this much cooling correction is there acid correction is given fuse wire correction is given cotton thread correction is given and the percentage of fuel is also given so here the formula is after using all these what we are getting this is right so this formula we are using so put all the values capital w is small w t2 minus t1 cooling correction must be added to this temperature right raising temperature plus cooling correction must be there and multiply by s so what is the s here s is equal to since water is taken so one calories per gram per degree centigrade this you have to multiply because otherwise you will not get the units fine now the question comes why cooling correction is added in the temperature fine so why it is so because cooling correction is the rate of change of temperature and this is in degree centigrade fine so this these two will comes together and in plus sign this is important because the students made mistake here that is why i am just emphasizing over here the second point is acid correction is given in calories fuse wire correction is given in calories and cotton thread correction is given in calories all three will be all together right so these three we are going to add and if you are if you forget somehow then you simply concentrate on the units so these three are in calories so taken all these corrections add them and then subtract from the formula so here what you are going to see here capital w plus w t2 minus t1 plus cooling correction this is in brackets right don't made any mistake over here otherwise your answer will be incorrect multiplied by s minus add all the corrections and subtracts from the whole value 
divided by x right so now i am just going to put all the values in the formula so here you can see this is how we are just going to put these are the capital w and small w and here we are having raise in temperature 2.3 this is cooling correction fine so 2.3 plus 0.047 here you can see i have added these two multiply by 1 calories per gram specific heat this is our specific heat minus sign is there so i'm just going to emphasize over there and add all the corrections right so acid correction this is in calories fuse wire and cotton thread these all are in calories add all together and subtract from the formula divided by the weight of the fuel so weight of the fuel we have calculated weight of the crucible plus fuel minus weight of the crucible i hope you understand and uh, you will do this so this is how on solving we are getting hcv is like this so this much this is the temperature and this is the corrections this is the weight of the fuel and all this is in calories per gram fine so here we are having the answer in for hcv is this is given like this right and uh, from this HCV, once we know the HCV, we can calculate the LCV. So LCV is equal to HCV minus 9 into hydrogen, weight of hydrogen in grams. But weight of hydrogen is given in percents. So we are converting it 6.5 upon 100. Actually, in some of the text, you will find it HCV minus 0 0.09 into H percentage into 580 or 587 or latent heat of steam so you will made a mistake here because in some of the questions hydrogen is given in grams if it is in if it is given in grams then no need to multiply by 0 0.09 then only you need to multiply by 9 if hydrogen is given in grams that is why i have not write this formula in that manner if I made this, then there may be chances if this hydrogen is given in grams, then again you are just going to multiply with this only. This is for high percentage of hydrogen only, right? So that is the difference. So that is why I have not written in this manner, fine? So please, um, you practice your numerical problems by using the formula. Only then you will understand what I am saying. Now HCV is calculated from the formula and here LCV is equal to HCV minus 9 into hydrogen in grams. But here it is in percentage and 6.5 divided by 100 and on solving it we are just getting HCV is like this. Why? So this is the answer. The next numerical problem is this. Here, what is given? A sample of coal containing this much of carbon, but carbon is not required. Hydrogen is required, ash is also not required. When this coal was tested in the laboratory for its calorific value in bomb calorimeter, so here you understand bomb calorimeter formula we have to take, the following data were obtained. So X weight of coal burnt is this much, weight, equivalent weight of uh, calorimeter is this much, weight taken is this much t2 minus t1 is this much cooling correction is this acid correction is this fuse wire is this so what you need to do you simply and here in this ex, in this example latent heat of steam is also given so on putting all these values in the formula what you will get so here you just simply put small w capital w t2 minus t1 plus cooling correction and multiply by this minus this corrections divide by x then on putting the values i will get this so here on sol see here i have just put all the values here and uh, you see raise in temperature and cooling correction fine so on solving this we are getting this and uh, after this we are getting the hcv value and hcv for this is this much right once we know the hcv then we can calculate the lcv also so hcv minus 9 into weight in weight of hydrogen in grams and latent heat of steam which is given in the example here so here this is in, again given in percent so you convert it into grams right 
so here this is in grams now you may also have a question why it is dividing by 100 in that converts into gram because if something is given in percent it means the by unitary method 100 is the sample so 100 grams of fuel contains 8 grams of hydrogen if one if we are talking about one gram then it is containing this much of grams fine so one gram of this is containing this much so this is how it converted into grams fine on solving this we are getting this much of lcb so this is the answer hcb and lcb you can solve some more examples uh, in your textbook and uh, if you find this video helpful please like share and subscribe thank you all thanks for watching